Greetings fellow humans, my name is Flailbot. Welcome back to episode 3 of Let's Play Stellaris as the United Children of Pavanar. Things are looking pretty warlike for us at this moment. We're crammed in this little corner with these two unfriendly guys. They don't like us for well, reasons that are core to our very identity. And these guys over here don't like us for reasons that are core to our identity plus rivalry. I'm going to leave these guys unrivaled in the hope that they don't attack us. Because I did, uh, yeah, I, I did put aggressiveness on high, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. Um... So we're pouring our resources, what mm, <laughs> pathetic resources we have, into building up our glorious war effort. Uh, these guys are looking equivalent in fleet power, which could be pretty tough. So I considered attacking these guys first, and that's still, I think, what we're going to do. Uh, but we're not going to make a rivalry with them because we don't want them to attack us. Um, well, we just don't want them to attack us. We want to attack them. And, yeah, they're further away. These guys are so close to my home world, they just rush in here with a bunch of armies and I'm done for. These guys don't have anything left to do, so they're going to go back home. And we are going to, like I said, put our resources into production of, of new and improved ships. So we're going to upgrade ships, we're going to push new techs related to ships and see what we can do. Obviously you don't really want this to happen after the fact in the sense that you don't want to be upgrading your ships after you've decided to declare war. You kind of want to be prepared at any moment. Um, I'm hoping very early on these guys are just not going to have very much in the ways of point defense probably the most re more reliable design would be three smalls we'll try it out though missiles punch pretty hard very early on so we'll give them a spin and we need more power to fuel all of our new techs that we're going to be putting on our ships so we're going to stick that there and then let's see we've got a naval capacity of 21 so that's complete. what we're going to be aiming for. I guess we really actually need to finish building all of these mining stations in order to, to get our income up. What did you finish building? Something. Probably these power plants, given how desperate I was for power. Oh, you were enslaved. Oh, that's right, I moved you. Okay. So you'll grow, and yeah, we'll get some more food going on. Next pop. And you're growing someone? Excellent. And we will upgrade that because we need the money. It's, it's we're kind of in a bad situation because we are stuck complete. hanging in terms of exploration. But we don't have the income yet to turn um, our resources to war without it being severely hindering to our core economy. So unless we get all these space buildings built, I mean, look at all the science that's just hanging around. 4, 6, 12, 14, 16 science hanging about. Unless we get that, we're wasting time paying upkeep for more ships and, and yeah, so... But that's what the game is about. We're trying to make hard decisions um, and trying to achieve, well, most effectively utilize our available resources. And that is, that's going to be me dumping all of our resources into construction, making more resources. So that's upgraded. And we're running a, um, a net positive here on energy, so I think I'm going to take one of these happy guys. You know what, that would enslave him though, which would be less than optimal. 
I was going to cut back on power production and, and switch over to minerals, but this guy is not grown yet, so I shouldn't get that happiness penalty because he would have never been enslaved. This guy is, of course, unhappy because I've enslaved him. But you know what? There has to be an order to things. That's what we've decided. And uh, if there's not an order to things, then chaos rules, and so obviously slavery. That's just a natural conclusion. Oh, good. <laughs> an odd factor. A group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Muladrock. That building, that was the building, and its state of decay tells of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. A population would easily be able to put the facility easily be able to use the facility to add to the colony's production output. Intriguing. Um, yeah. We... Construction complete. We want that. I mean, we've gone since the start of this episode to now we've gone 20 minerals up in production, which is crazy. That's a huge boost. 60% um, increase. No, 40% increase from 50 to 70. But that's still great. So I'm gonna get this money so that we can make sure we support all the ships we're building and these construction very soon to be built um, science buildings. And then we're gonna start dumping those resources. We can't sacrifice a pop so soon. Another pop goes missing. It's not that amazing of a building. Can we like feed it people and eventually it will work? Let's do it. Good God, how horrible. <laughs> It'll be fine, guys. And we probably want to move another one of these guys over to Moldorak. Uh, resettle you, Muladrock. So one thing that's not so amazing about this, this interface is it only shows like the base tile without adjustments, which means on Nigaria I can see that this is six and this is five credits, but in the resettlement menu it shows me that these are both five because the base here is higher, uh, but it's not counting the adjacency bonus. So if I move this guy over, I'm actually having a total loss um, that's going to be less. And I'm doing that because uh, I want a pop to grow here. And that'll start up next month. So you build that research station or that influence station. And you have a chance soon. And then we will build the rest of these boats. Construction complete. So soon, buddy. Oh, you're already doing that. Construction complete. Well, good work. Then keep on keeping on. Uh, research, mining, and then you can build these research stations. Okay, everything's queued. And we're still running positive. Uh, A second group of individuals has gone missing after working at the odd factory. Fortunately, one of the workers was able to leave a recording behind revealing that there are traps capturing unsuspecting workers. The traps have been disabled and we should be able to use the factory without further issues. However, the populace are none too happy about the potential death trap, no matter what we say. Um, scared populace or Building build speed of minus 25%. That's actually not so bad. Uh, let's look at our edicts. Hmm. 243 months is more than two years, uh, more than 20 years. Happiness and habitability down. I think that's what we're going to have to do. I don't see. Loop. Another option here. That's too bad. 
but that's okay. We can use the thing now without, um, hopefully, long-term, well, pop loss. Good. So, just double-check our ship design. Any new text coming in? Ceramo metal armor. We could wait 10 months because we don't have enough money to reinforce our entire fleet anyway. So, just wait. Upgrade them all with the fancy armor. And then, that'll be that. Technology secured. Bloop. Technology secured. And Chemical Bliss is ir not irrelevant, but just not quite our current jam. This is quite good. This is a much better boost in our naval capacity for the time being. Yes, we want that. We would like you to assist research, good sir, on Pavanar. Nope, on Nigaria. And do we want to steal slaves? Make better claims. 10% speed. Ooh, one vision. I like one vision. Mastery of nature is pretty decent. If we have a lot of smaller planets, currently we have very few planets of any size at all. Um, I think... I definitely want super cool cyborgs, so we're gonna go for flesh is weak. And then I guess we better get that robots technology. Um, let's pick up one vision though, because if we start getting other slaves that start getting attracted to egalitarian, it's gonna get not annoying per se, but it's going to get more difficult. We still haven't filled up this entire planet. Those pop losses were not great. Technology secure. Alright. Let's design our ship to be more expensive. Anything else to upgrade? Nope. And we're happy to stick with the basic missiles. That's all we've got. Reactor booster would theoretically increase our stats. You can look here, 10.21 damage. Bloop, 10.38 damage. Um, pretty small boost. What is that? A 1% boost for like a 4% cost increase. So not really uh, very amazing. So we'll stick with this version. We'll upgrade these guys. Vessels upgraded. And then we'll do everything we possibly can. Construction complete. Oh boy. Um I love me some destroyers, but we need to get droids before we finish our next ascension perk. And that's gonna take just a little bit. So what's up, why aren't you building anything, buddy? Build some stuff. This place is producing no science, which means assisting research would be completely useless. Okay. War comes soon, and it'll go in this direction. And what are our claims like? How much does it cost to claim this? 112, and this? 90. It's not a very good system, and the planet was pretty bad too, wasn't it? Technology secured. Slow down. Yeah, that's not habitable. It's a decent size, but the habitability is bad. Oh, I forgot we were researching fusion reactor. Oops. <laughs> Improved deflectors will go nicely with that fusion reactor. But that increased power is not going to help us. Um, Construction complete. I'm not really going to help our ships be any more potent, so. You're all done building your boats, so we'll build uh, another round. Two more. Three more. And then. One more. Bloop. There we go. So, our whole fleet will be filled out. And Alala Up Apna is ready complete. to do the fight. 
Construction complete. I guess we'll come over here and I'll take our passive science ship as well. And you can move here. And that'll be that. Let's see where we can go. Our lowest science is social, so we'll clear this to eventually build science there. Eventually. We may take domination. It's not a very good tree unless you really decide to vassalize people. Tile blocker cleared. Which is okay, I just find them kind of unreliable. Okay, so war is about to be on, which is pretty exciting. I don't know how well we're going to do. We need to capture this as soon as possible because we want to be able to repair. So we're just going to head straight there. Um, crap, let's go right there. And then once we declare war, we'll leap right in and to do the fight. Currently we have money, but we don't have food, much food. This will be a big boost to our pop speed, pop growth speed though. 12-ish months, that's good, we'll be alright. Okay, let's do this thing. Um, do we want to take this system? It's in a nebula, we should probably take it. So let's go ahead and make that claim. Make a claim. You know, we have to take the planet if we take this system. And I don't really feel like we have the... We don't have the money invested, we have to build troops and so on and so forth. Um... Let's take it, and we'll see how the war goes. And if the war goes well, then... We have declared war to safeguard our interests. Then, then, then we'll build some troops. Um, right, when you declare war, you need to wait one day before you can actually enter their territory. So, that's what we're doing. Oh no! One, did I, I didn't claim that, did I? Oh no, no! All I wanted was, was a bath to freedom! Attacking enemy assets. That's all I wanted. Oh, this could be bad. This looks terrible. Um, we have slightly more ships than they do. Well, we did. Oh dear. Retreat. Darn. Uh, you guys can also go home before we accidentally get killed. And we can build some boats here. How many we lose? Four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can create another fleet of... That didn't... That was not helpful. We can get rid of that fleet. And the second wave fleet we will create. Hopefully our naval capacity will be... Well, there we go. Only 50 bajillion years to go. Maybe if we weren't so unlikable, this would work better. So we can group these two, and then our other fleet. I guess I didn't really need to create and then delete. I think we'll have to run over capacity for a little while, because we are just not equipped to... I mean, that we could have won, but we didn't. So... Meldak built its thing, that's great news. And these people will be growing slightly faster. And let's stick you on food when you eventually come into existence. And your repair, uh, your science thing is being built. Go ahead and reinforce. Improved deflectors would be nice. Let's see if we're gonna upgrade our guys. And we will also definitely pick up basic combat roles because that is a solid tech. And perhaps we should switch over to something more reasonable. Missiles are risky business. I wish I had been clever enough to look at their ships before we lost, but I forgot. Um, we go full coil guns. Just 
just don't know what tech they have. That was silly of me. Oh well. Throw down deflectors. Once they're all built, I guess, and then we'll upgrade. Just this one little thing. Construct complete. Oop, save. Yes. Enemy presence exposed. Upgrade. Spaceport under attack. Vessels upgraded. There we go. Everyone's on the upgrade path to victory, and then we'll go and engage these guys, and hopefully, enemy presence exposed. Uh, we will win complete. handily, and then be able to. Well, push in to their territory. Technology secured. That's the only plan I have. I hope it works. Okay, we can build robots now. Robo modding is not really very interesting at the moment. Afterburners are not very interesting. Auto cannons are pretty great. Let's take ion thrusters though, so we can get places more quickly. Enemy presence exposed. Yeah. Our war exhaustion is at least not significant compared to theirs. Take two more ships, and then we'll head off as reinforcement. Yeah, after the stars expired, what are we going to do? We're fighting for our right to explore as we speak. And I don't have any black holes to build research stations or anchorages around, but I can build it around Sassen once I take it. Once I, if, eventually. Attacking enemy vessels. There we go. Ooh, aggressive. What's that do? That is... Wait, who gained that? Surely you gained that. Cool. Fire rate and sublight speed, those are both great. And... Wow, minus 21 energy is pretty much a lot. <laughs> because of this huge increase to our cost. Um, so we'll stick with one leader for the time being. These guys are gonna go... Yeah, there and then there. That's the best we've got. Um, we can make our pops happy by taking domination. We can fix our money problems by taking prosperity. We can make our people happier by taking harmony. Diplomacy is garbage. And if we're gonna be fighting a lot of wars, maybe this is a good choice. This is good if you can already beat people. You know what? Let's take domination though, because I don't think I'm in a position. I don't think I have the stability. Plus two. I didn't I say it was like plus fifteen? <laughs> they changed the happiness change by seven because it was minus five first and now it's plus two. But that's still pretty good. That's two extra influence per month. That's nice. Um, we're not really in a position socially to take over another country, not completely. So I think that we're going to be better served by, well, by dominating, say, demand tribute, and then see what happens. I hope this could have been a misstep. I think we're okay. Oof. I take that back. How far away are you guys? 32 days. Good. Might survive. Oh, 75 more days. Yeah, well. You know what? Then just hang out here? Because you guys are never going to be take out, be able to take out that entire thing. Uh, no. Hold. When you come to back. March. Oh boy. I was too confident. Uh, go ahead and take that extra leader. Bring these guys back so they're at least helped by this base. Science ship can... Um, I know it requires a science ship. You know what it also requires? A scientist. Take this guy. Bloop. Research that stuff, 
And you guys can reinforce again. Not, not so good. Not such a perfect run. Go ahead and head over. Another entire year to get there. It's not a great shape for my empire. Technology secured. Yeah. Auxiliary fire control is pretty good. Construction complete. It's a bonus that very pleasantly applies to most people. Let's take blue laser though, which we just grabbed from this debris. Construction complete. And we don't have enough money really, but Oh, I suppose we better clear a tile to grow another pop. Been run out of money, that's why. Enemy presence exposed. I was gonna say 80 seems like a little bit little. 855. What are they running? Blue lasers. So if I go all shields, I'd be better off. But I can't afford the power requirement. Where are you guys? Oh, you're pretty close by. Um, let's pull back. I'm happy to lose the station as long as I don't lose the... These units are more important than my station. So, because it'll just regenerate all on its lonesome. Are you coming? I could use your help. Really could use your help. There we go. Enemy presence exposed. Oh boy, this is going super badly. I don't have enough um, power, I think, to really fight this war. That sucks. How about we rapidly grab a couple of systems, and if they don't manage to take our system in the meantime, we can. Um, claim them. We can say they were mine all along. Complete. This is a solid system. This one's decent. Not amazing. There's our naval capacity that puts us back in the green or in the black, however you want to think of it. And let's take farming, just because eventually we'll need it. These outposts are obviously much easier to defeat. Although we still managed to lose two corvettes, which is why corvettes are garbage. What? Because how much power does this have? <laughs> They're garbage, he said. Sassily. This thing has a power of 200, and it's defeating, like, two of my boats. Which is just... Nonsense. So that means that taking that one system cost me 300, um... 350 minerals or something. Yeah, so that's why I'm a fan of destroyers, is because they just... Although I think that you get more... Um, more bang for your buck with the, the corvettes in a single battle, it tends to not pay off if you're losing corvettes, because they're much easier to lose. And if you happen to lose two of them, well, they cost about half as much as a destroyer. So, yeah, not a super big fan. But waiting for destroyers is not always possible. Here, it probably would have been wise to wait for destroyers, but that's okay. We desperately need to colonize a new place to get things rolling. We'll take this middle spot for maximum adjacencies eventually. And I like renaming these so they're like fun and interesting. Uh, but it does get a little bit unwieldy lady. Lady. Later. Uh, you can keep researching stuff, I guess. Theoretically. Theoretically. Take a genius. We can. You there, guy with a long life. You were replaced by a genius. And you, long life guy. What, nothing to explore? Why can't you go this way? We don't know that that 
that's connected. Interesting. So we'll send you there, and then when this science ship is done, he's going to go this way. And I think... Well, you know what? I guess we'll just wait until we're actually like ready to make any other wars. It's just randomly declaring war is not going to get us... Not gonna be very beneficial. Science lag goes down. These guys are equivalent because they kicked our butts. And we will go ahead and upgrade this to a starport. And once we start settling the planet, we can throw down those um, technology secured mining. Money mining stations. Okay, let's pick tax. This is such an underwhelming, <laughs> underwhelming tech. But if you ever run into the situation where you need another leader for something, like you you started a new sector and then you realized, oh, I uh, I don't have a leader, then it really sucks to try to wait for that tech to come around. Alright, we're picking up destroyers, because that's what I like to do. And I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Because I'm in charge of me. Construction complete. And I guess we could upgrade these farms to boost our population growth. Because eventually we're gonna want. Well, we're going to want the population on our brand new planet to, to zip along. Let's go with the cheapest again. Colony development speed. It's not going to finish, I think, before we get there. Oh, but it'll finish at some point before it starts, because these guys still have, what, two years to get there? So, colonize. Whoop. I like Sethorega. Or Paldoreth, that's pretty cool. Hey, zoom out. Alright, so we're gonna call it a day. Many thanks for watching. That was how you fail a war, but still scrape the best out of it. It was several years long. Wars go really quickly. And I only grabbed two systems, but that was better than, I think, pushing and pushing and ending up losing. Yeah. Was the what do they call that? Transitioning into losing your whole base. So I think that it was the right choice to make. I would. There's lots of other places to expand here, and unfortunately, I am just. Hmm. It's curious. Not um. Not feeling in a very big position of power. I think we will try once again to tech up onto a war footing. as soon as we're done sort of with this expansion and once these texts are done, primarily destroyer, then we can combine uh, or we can split these up into two fleets that are, let's see, approximately seven and eight. Uh, no, that's not how math works. Like. 13 Corvettes each, which we'll just keep in there, and when they die, we won't replace them. And the rest of it's gonna be um, destroyers. So that'll happen next time. Thanks for watching. My name is Flailbot as ever, and this has been a disastrous episode of the United Children of Pavanor. See you guys next time.